Okay, before we start the lesson, let's demonstrate what we'll be learning how to create here. It's a true circular dynamic preloader for Flash Action Script 3 that has true listening for file load progress. And it spins around in a circle using a wedge type animation that has 100 frames that's directly tied to your load progress. Enjoy. Create new Action Script 3 file. Change background to black. Frame rate to 30. If you're in CS4, your frame rate is already 30. You don't have to touch that, you sucker butt. Now, on this layer, I'm going to rename that, double click it, rename it Shell. This is where I'm going to put the cosmetics that the circular preloader will display behind. So our circular preloader will display behind these cosmetics that we're putting here. Oval primitive tool. So you hold down the shapes tool, grab the oval primitive, drag it out the stage, and let's give it even numbers. 200 by 200. Really, the numbers really don't matter. And what we'll do is let's go ahead and pull that center radius point out maybe right about there. Now let's grab the shapes tool again, oval primitive, and put one right in the center. Make sure that has even numbers too on the width and the height. Let's make it 140 by 140. There we go. And let's slap it right in the middle there. And let's make sure the X and the Y values, the coordinates here, are not decimal. That really wouldn't be a big issue either, but I just don't like them to be decimal. Alright, let's make sure this is in the center best we can. That looks good enough to me. So what will happen is, let's go ahead and close this one off. Grab that inner radius point, close it off. So what will happen is, our loader will show behind these graphics. You can even highlight both of these, convert to symbol, movie clip. That's fine. Symbol 1 in the library. We're not going to need to give it an instance name, so it's all good. Now let's create a new layer and rename that one. Let's call it the Loader. Call it Circular Loader. And drag that to the bottom so the shell layer is on top of it because we want our loader to be behind it. Okay, okay. I'm going to make this just a little darker. Okay, well, I just decided on really dark gray. <laughs> okay, now let's lock the shell layer on the circular loader layer. I'm going to hold down the shapes tool and grab an oval tool. I'm going to grab the oval tool and not the oval primitive tool this time. Just the regular oval tool. I'm going to hold down shift to say to stay perfectly circular with the shape and draw it out. And I'm going to make sure this one's even too. Let's just make that... Uh, 280 by 280 just so it's a little bigger than our graphics there that might even be too big let's say 240 240 by 240 alright now let's put that right there and let's change the color there we go well, let's change that to a white Okay, so once that's on top, let's get those coordinates even. Actually, it's underneath, rather. But you can't select the shell layer because it's locked right now. Let's make sure this looks about even. That's good. Now, I'm going to double-click inside of this drawing object to where it's all dots. I'm editing the native symbol there. And I want to drag out a rectangle. I'm going to drag out this rectangle. and I'm going to change the color of it to green or something and double click inside of it get the native shape out of it where it's all dots control X double click back out into this shape where this is all dots in this circle press control V now this is going to punch out this circle so what we can do is let's just see if we can get it about halfway by eye Yeah, that 
looks about right. Right about there. Let it go. Deselect it. Select it again and move it out of the way and you'll see that it punched it. Okay. Press Control X. Go back into scene one. Okay. Now we have a semicircle, a half circle there. And that's what we want to get this animation started. It's going to be a dynamic animation with 100 frames. So your load percentage can talk with that animation. Okay, and at this point, I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea and think this semicircle, this white semicircle, is our bar. It's not going to be our circular loader. It's just going to be the mask for our circular loader. So I'm going to transform it now. Let's put that center transform dot right there at the center point, and make sure we get the skew uh, symbol to come up here on our mouse on our pointer and then hold down shift and it will move it at certain angles fixed angles to where you don't have a free movement it's fixing at, at fixed angles and that's what you want okay, I'm gonna move it over to this side now I'm going to <coughs> make sure we're in a good position here now once that's in place right click convert the symbol let's call this uh, main loader clip I'll just call it loader clip in the library and that's good now double click inside of it and here we're gonna work inside of it now on the first layer let's rename this one first half let's make another layer above that call it second half and I'll show you why we're doing that in just a second now the layer below first half let's make another layer and drag it below first half and let's call it let's call it circular because this is where the graphics for the circular loader are going to be. The actual circular loader, the way it's going to look. And it can be movie clip or whatever you want. Okay, now let's get those graphics on there. Let's go ahead and grab another oval. Actually, we can grab the one that's there. Never mind that. Don't make a new one. Just grab this one here. It's already a drawing object and it's semicircle, that's what we want. So let's press Control C, Control, and lock that layer. Now you press Control C, you copied it. Now put it on the circular graphics layer. Right there. And what you want to do now is take this one and spin it to where it's on the other side. Lay it right there. Okay, now with that piece there, that drawing object on the circular loader graphics, I'm going to change that to the color I want my my load bar to be. And I'm going to adjust the size to where it fits in there inside of the graphics, the skin we made. Because that's all we want to show. Make it even a little smaller than that. I'm holding shift while I'm dragging here to make sure I don't distort my shape. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to make it to where I can't see that first half layer. I'm going to grab this circular loader graphics layer. I'm going to rename it 1. Now I'm going to make another layer above it. And this is going to be circular loader graphics 2. Because there has to be two halves. This one, modify, transform. Actually, let's just go ahead and hit the transform tool on it and skew it around, holding shift so we have perfect angles there. There you go. Now we can bring these together, make sure they're together, and then this one can be circular graphics too. There. So pretty much you just want two halves of whatever your graphics want to be. If you want them flashing, glowing, or whatever, you just turn them into movie clips and make them animated. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure we can see these again. So on top we have the first half. Now we put 
the second half and that's going to be on the opposite side and these are going to be spinning around to reveal certain things for us when we need them to okay so this circular load of graphics one this has to be right underneath the first half layer circular graphics two that has to be underneath the second half layer see how I set that up now there's nothing confusing about this you just have to follow along carefully I'll show you how to do it right okay at this point we're really close to being almost about done so let's press control C let's highlight this first half press control C lock that first half layer actually lock everything but the second half layer highlight the second half layer press control shift V then grab the transform tool free transform and since our dot is still here in the center that's good we can just put it on the other side and there you go and this is what you want so this is the setup you want and the layering you want and you can make one more layer on top and let's call that layer actions because we'll have a stop actions there okay now we animate these two halves let's unlock everything this one is going to be from 1 to frame 50 so let's go ahead and make a new keyframe let's go ahead and extend out the circular graphics 1 all the way out to 100 by pressing F5 the first half layer let's go ahead and animate that by going to frame 50 giving it a new keyframe by pressing F6 and on that new keyframe we're going to skew this to the other side right there now here we're going to right click in between somewhere there and create motion tween or if you're in CS4 it'll probably say create classic tween and that's the one you want okay you gotta make sure see what happened to me see this dot you gotta make sure it's in the right spot before you start that so let me go ahead and backtrack remove tween remove frames let's start back where we were right here let's highlight that make sure the dot is at the center where it should be that's how I should have started then go to frame 50 then right click in the center create motion tween on this one you want to make sure it's on the other side and then it will do the motion tween for you see that so basically what we're doing is we're making that wedge is going to be a mask or that half that semicircle is going to be a mask showing this first semicircle it's going to reveal that first semicircle in a perfect pie shaped pattern to where it'll look like a load bar should okay now let's go ahead and extend those frames out by pressing F5 we're going to do the same thing to the top half now okay now let's extend circular loader graphics 2 all the way out to 100 by pressing F5 and that doesn't make a new keyframe pressing F5 it just extends frames to display through that section okay now the second half I'm going to drag that I'm going to drag it all the way out to frame 50 and then I'm going to press F6 on frame 100 make a new keyframe on that one in the center I'm going to create shape uh, motion tween if you're in CS4 it's create classic tween I think and then on the last frame there 100 let's skew it around like we did the first one first let's make sure that dot is in the center before we have the same mishap as the first time <laughs> okay now there we go now let's spin it around it's exactly what we wanted you see what's gonna happen it might even need to be a little closer let's move it one and one let's see how that is perfect now I think that's everything let's mask everything now let's go to second half is going to mask this layer first half layer is going to mask this layer so let's highlight the second half layer right click it select mask then the first half layer right click that one select mask now run your timeline 
grab it, run it through there, you see what's going to happen? See this one? Circular Graphics 2. Those shouldn't show these first frames. So grab this, drag it all the way out to frame 50 as well. That's how it's supposed to be. Okay. It looks perfect to me. Looks like on frame 1, we need to move a few things closer. I'll see if I need to fix that. Now let's put the stop action up here. Press F5, uh, let's see, F6, F6, STOP, open, close parentheses, and semicolon, stop action. And we're going to put a stop action on frame 1 as well, so this thing doesn't play by itself. It's going to be controlled by the load progress of our file. That's what this is all about. But let's press control and to see what we have. See that? That is beautiful. It's exactly what you want. Yeah, it looks like that first one moves a little bit. So let's go and unlock everything and run our timeline through it. Let's see what we have. A little mishap going on. This one should be this way. And this way. Now it's perfect. Okay. Look at that. It's beautiful. Now all you have to do is tie this movie clip to your load percentage progress, which I'll show you right now. I'll even make a little file. And I'll prove to you that it works nice. Let's go back to scene one. Everything in here is done, I believe. Let's look at it one more time. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, I've got this bad boy sunk into my simulated flash file my whole flash website and uh, we'll see if this thing truly acts the way it should so let's make sure we have an instance name on it which I gave it an instance name of circle loader you'll see that's on the circle loader layer that's not the skin that's the thing behind it remember our circle loader that has an instance name of circle loader now let's look at the code now instead of my load text only going and showing the percentage we want that load bar too as well because it's going to be full real dynamic so let's say circle loader dot go to and play percent since we have exactly 100 frames inside of that movie clip that animation, the circle loader animation, we're good to go. So circle loader dot go to and play percent. That's exactly what we want. Now let's press F12 and put it on the web so we can actually see it. Some load progress. On your local machine you won't see it. In a in your full site. It'll just go straight into your site because everything's already loaded on your system. But if it's on the web that's where you really want it to load up, so let's FTP it. Check it out. Okay, I'm going to navigate to the directory, the test directory that I have. This file. And there you see, perfect. Perfect functionality. It's butamus. Okay, so in the flash file, you see we have the actions layer that runs the preloading of the site. The load text, which is sitting on top of the shell. The shell, which is sitting on top of the circular loader, which is a pie animation of 100 frames, which is directly tied. And I changed the go to and play to go to and stop because the go to and play did not function correctly. Go to and stop is the better method here. So circular loader dot go to and stop percent, which is tied to 100, 0 to 100, which is what this animation is. And that beautiful, that's how it goes. You saw it here first.